Me, on the other hand, who was used to the finer things in life, Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I ask you to please subscribe because you're helping this disabled by watching my fable so I don't have to beg you. Now, as you all know, I grew up in LA and everybody in LA knows somebody that is famous. Everybody. Even if they only have 15 minutes of fame. Oh, never mind. Anyway, like I said, everybody in L.A. knows somebody famous. So this story is no different. When I was in junior high, on the weekends, I would hang out with um, one of the group members from the Silvers. You know, boogie fever. Anyway, so this was usually a common weekend event that I would get to hang out at the um, Silvers house, I think. The group member, I believe her name was Olympia. So I would hang out with her at her house, but it was more like I was hanging out with her daughter. And I don't know why I don't remember her daughter's name. She got to dance on Soul Train and everything. But anyway, I would hang out with them while my aunt and mom and Olympia would go. I guess they were partying because, like I said, I was in junior high at this time. However, one weekend, um, she was babysitting us and I believe it was about seven or eight of us kids. <clears throat> so with that said, she had taken us out to eat and we went to a restaurant. I'm not, I don't remember which restaurant it was, but I do know the seven kids ordered things like hamburger, hot dogs, fries, pizza, you know, chicken or, you know, something sensible. Me, on the other hand, who was used to the finer things in life, <laughs> ordered lobster and crab legs. I had no clue in my feeble junior high mind that this was an issue. I'm thinking she got it, right? And I want lobster and crab legs. I mean, every time my mom took me out, we would have some form of seafood or steak or something. So this is what I'm used to. So I blame my mother. That's who I blame. I mean, she was the only one in the house. So you tell me why I was the way I was. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I didn't know this was a problem until my mom picked me up. And later on in the day, she told me, you know, when people treat you out to dinner, you gotta be um, aware of people's budget and don't order the most expensive thing on the menu. And I'm shaking my head like, okay, okay. But isn't she from the group member Silvers and doesn't she have the money? How rude. See, you know, when you're young, you don't calculate, wait, she has to eat and eight other children have to eat. So no, she is not buying lobster and crab legs for all eight, nine people. <laughs> so that's my story about me dining with the Silvers. And now when people treat me out, ugh. and now when people treat me to dinner or lunch or brunch or something like that, I usually ask what's the budget so I don't go overboard. Well, Donnie's, remember to toast the light. It always makes for a great story. And remember, someone treats you, don't go overboard. Be polite. Please don't forget my other content on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Bye.